Hello and good evening and welcome to the Coach Derek Burrow Show. My name is Cesar Kispe, along with the man himself, former NFL player, uh, Derek Burrows. Good evening, Coach. How are you tonight? Glad to be here. Got a big smile on my face this week. So, Definitely, definitely. Well, let's, let's uh, jump right into it. Congratulations again on a phenomenal performance by the Dragons of Lane College, defeating the Wildcats of Fort Valley State University with a final score of 10-7. to 7. Coach, uh, give us just a quick recap of the game. Well, um, you know, for about three quarters, it was a pretty close game, uh, a defensive game. Uh, we were having trouble running the football and, and trying to put points on the board, and, and thankfully they were also. And uh, um, uh, they hit us on a, on a big touchdown pass, which kind of broke the game open, but we fought back. And we, our kids uh, was, showed a lot of resilience, and they hung in there, and uh, we won the game. Definitely, definitely. Uh, now, starting the game, in the first uh, quarter of the game, uh, both teams are trying to get into some sort of rhythm and momentum, and then uh, there was a storm in the area that delayed the game. Uh, did that impact the game in any way, as you guys are just trying to get into the momentum, into the rhythm of the game? I don't, I don't think so. I think, uh, you know, our kids took, took that opportunity to go back and talk about a little football and, and sure up some things on defense and offense that we... Uh, we needed to sure up, but I don't think it had any significance to, to how the game went from there on. Uh, now, yeah, last week, in last week's show, we talked about uh, the preparation for this game and the adjustments and to personnel and, and whatnot, but I want to go back to something we talked about last week, and that was the emotions of mm -hmm. playing Fort Valley after uh, we lost in Fort Valley, mm -hmm. a game that was, you know, that the Dragons had led most of the game, and so uh, this week, how much did that uh, play in your mind at all? Well, it, it played heavily in my mind, and actually I hope it played heavily in our players' minds also uh, to, to, be, to lead 24-7 and then come back and lose the second half. That left a bitter taste in my mouth, uh, and so I, I hope it left a bitter taste in theirs, and they, and they came out and played like it left a bitter taste in their mouth. Definitely. Now, 2-0, and undefeated still here at home, and the whole season uh, right now, um, so congratulations on a phenomenal job again, Coach. Uh, three quarters of the game, a very defensive game. You talked about that a little bit. And we're going to see some recaps in the next segment. Uh, but three quarters without being able to score and without allowing them to score, did that any, add any pressure um, going into the fourth quarter at all? Uh, no. I mean, uh, uh, we were offensively, we were trying to figure out what we were going to do to get on track and, and, and uh, <coughs> you know, what we needed to do was keep holding defensively while our offense figure out what we needed to do to get on track. And fortunately, it, it, it took us to the fourth quarter to do that, but at least we did it. So uh, we got on track in the fourth quarter, and, and it, it's still about winning the game, wins and losses. And, and, and no matter what time or how long it takes, you know, we got it done. So Definitely. Now, going into the fourth quarter, a few seconds in, they get a huge play, mm -hmm. run it into the end zone. Um, what triggered, because it took us about eight minutes to get back onto the scoreboard. Uh, what, was, what did you see? What was the reaction from your players and your coaching staff? Well, you know, we, we called an all-out blitz, which means we, uh, our corners were playing man-to-man, -man, and our, our corner wasn't supposed to let the receiver inside him. He let the receiver inside him and, and didn't make the tackle. Uh, but you know, surprisingly, and I'm so glad that when when I when I, when the defense came to the sideline, I didn't see one head bowed. I didn't see uh, any of my defensive players feeling like we couldn't come back. Uh, it didn't phase them at all, and that's what I wanted to see on, on their faces. And I and I felt and I knew that that uh, you know when my team start to look and feel like they looked Saturday, um, we got opportunity to be in a, a good football team. Uh, early in the, earlier in the game, uh, number 67, Raul Martinez, missed a, uh, about a 30-yard field goal. Uh, but he made up with it. Right. About eight minutes into the fourth quarter, he makes the, uh, the field goal that kind of cuts back uh, on right. their attack. And then just a few moments later, another couple huge plays happen, and we end up taking the lead 10-7. to 7. Mm -hmm. uh, Where do you think the momentum shifted for you, Coach, in those final couple minutes of the game? Well... You know, when we when we kicked that field goal, ironically, everybody was on the sideline saying, we're going to win this game 10-7. 
we're going to win this game 10-7. So, and then uh, we had, a, if you can remember, we had a big punt return by Jamie on Donning that took us deep in their territory. And I think on that particular play, everything kind of, the momentum kind of swung in our favor. And I think it was two minutes and something left in the game. And we marched right down there and put, it, and put the ball in the end zone. Um, definitely. Now, a huge difference from last year's game uh, against Fort Valley and today. Um, earlier today, we talked about how the team was able to finish this game right. all the way to the very end. There wasn't a moment in the game when the team stopped. The team right. consistently played strong uh, and very well both on offense and on defense. Uh, so again, just a, f a phenomenal game on that, mm -hmm. Coach. Uh, we're going to just take a couple of moments here and talk about the next game. Before mm -hmm. we, we go back to the highlights of last week's game, let's talk a little bit about Langston University. Mm -hmm. Both teams are still undefeated, which right. will be an exciting game and playing uh, in a whole, uh, in a way field for, for them and a neutral location for both, for both teams. Mm -hmm. uh, so talk to us a little bit. Well, we, we don't know a whole lot about Langston. Uh, they don't know a whole lot about us. But we're looking forward to uh, watching film, breaking down their film, and, and trying to figure out their tendencies. And, and, and hopefully the Dragon will come back 3-0 and next week. 3-0, that's, that's exactly what we're trying to work for. Uh, so back to uh, last weekend's game. Um, the conditions, you know, everything, just, you guys played well. I want you to talk a little bit about the defense. Uh, and what were you telling them as you went into halftime, both defense and offense? What did you tell uh, the team when you guys went into Well, we just needed to stay the course. Um, we play a pressure kind of defense, and it's a high-risk defense, to be honest. And, and you have to kind of live and die with big plays, and that's kind of the way we play. And, uh, but you know the, the great thing is I really didn't have to tell them a whole lot because uh, I didn't see any heads bowed I, I didn't see any uh, disgust I, I saw kids that wanted to go out and play and win the football game so I didn't have to tell them a whole lot definitely did you think that the score would be 10 to 7 or did you in your mind think that the score would be something a little different no I, I never thought it would be a low scoring game I thought we would score more points uh, and I was hoping that they didn't score, <laughs> score more points <laughs> but I did think that we would score more points so, well, again, Coach, phenomenal job on last week's game um, on the coaching staff, both offense and defense. And we were able to see the emotions and the expressions on the coaching staff after the game as we celebrated with all of our fans. And a great turnout. Uh, we just want to take this moment to uh, invite some of the people that are watching also to join the Dragons at the next time that we're at home, here at homecoming on October the 8th. And, um, you know, that should be an exciting game against Benedict also. And so we're going to go ahead and just take a break, a commercial break. Thank you so much for joining us here on the Coach Derek Burrow Show. We'll see you in just a few moments. Oh, well. Yeah. It's getting better. Yeah. 